Well, it's morning 27. I'm at mile 896.7, leaving Kissimmee Prairie Preserve. And then, yeah, I don't know, I've been in a really weird mood this morning. I just didn't, I was like really still amped up last night, but I needed to let my, my things charge and I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just kind of emotional today. Maybe it was getting all those hugs yesterday. <laughs> you know, like unleashed something inside of me. It's gonna be a really good day. Get it going, girl. Get it going. So, this is terrible. <laughs> this half is a nice one. Ooh. So that's cool. Um, that's how the trail's been for a bit now. Probably going to continue being that way up here. It's pretty hard to walk on. The middle part's like really fluffy, so you lose your, uh, like lose your momentum as you're going. And then otherwise you're stepping from, oh good, here's another one. <laughs> I'm basically just stepping on this part, but it is a little hard on the ankles. Uh, and I'm using my poles a lot. My natural positivity is struggling right now. Because look at this. And I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be so much longer. Holy bay. Gotta love a good hammock, huh? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Um yeah, so I've been a bit on the struggle bus today. <laughs> so, I mean, like I yelled earlier at the trail. <laughs> it's frustrated and tired and whatever. I just feel a little emotional as I stated previously. So then I was thinking about like, okay, what do I do to reset this, you know? It's like I talk to the kids all the time about like perseverance and mental fortitude and all that stuff because it is important. You know, sometimes things suck and you can't just get sucked into that suckiness. You gotta rise above. So I had my little hissy fit for a second and then I was like, all right, what can I do to change this? So I messaged a couple of my hiker friends to get my mind off of what I'm currently doing, you know? that I'm finding so frustrating. Um, and I messaged this other hiker who's been just like nothing but this little ray of sunshine. <laughs> and honestly, it did help. It helped just to like express that I'm like having a rough day and I'm a little emotional and I'm kind of frustrated and I'm tired. So part one of my perseverance, <laughs> talk to your friends. Get your head out of it. And I think next I'm going to stop and I'm going to have a snack. Snacks and solutions. It's part of it. Feed the beast. Well, I sat down in the shade of a oak tree and I ate some couscous. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, but who cares? It's not, oh no, no, mamma jamma, oh, I can get around this, man, what am I doing, anyway, all right, I'm walking out of Kissimmee Prairie Preserve, yeah. Oh, that's cool. 
was getting water, saw some bubbles, and look who came up. It's a little baby one, which means there are probably a bunch more. I just got some water out of the Kissimmee River. <laughs> you see all the stuff jumping and the gator right over there. Uh, can't tell. Whatever. Um, yeah. It's always a little disconcerting. You know, your hand is in the water, your bottle's bubbling like, brrr, and then you hear a splash and it's like, oh my gosh. I'm from Florida. I go out air boating in the lakes with my family. I know how many gators are out here, you know, which is why I am more cautious, I think, than some people. They're opportunist. It's how they do, you know, and I'm just like one of those wild animals having to lean over the water's edge. My head's leaning out. I'm like, good Lord, just launch right up out of here and grab me. I respect the nature, you know, that's all I'm saying. This is their home. So I get in and out of there quick. <laughs> Oy vey. I'm only like 25 miles into my day. I've just been taking it nice and easy. Stopping, relaxing in the shade here and there. I'm just going to hike late. Because I just didn't sleep so well last night. And I was in a bad mood. And I just needed to take care of myself my extraction from trick so I need to get back up to the Pensacola area I don't know just trying to make my dreams come true Woo -wee. it's wild right I love it I love it dude I'm looking at the weather for the next few days today it's only 70 two or something 74 it's so lovely tomorrow 87 the next day 88 day after that it's like 87 again and then it's 91 degrees I won't be done by then I mean I think I'll finish on the 91 degree day that's gonna be rough dude Oak trees and palms and cow pastures. Um, I'm trying to think this through, come up with the best possible situation. It's 72 and lovely today. <laughs> really breezy. It's like a cold front. But um, the weather the next like four or five days is going to be super hot like 88 degrees and you know in the sun that's going to feel like 95 it's going to be rough so I was trying to think if I could like would I even be able to sleep during the daytime in that kind of heat I don't know I'm honestly not sure or I just try to you know get up super early hike super late but also there are mosquitoes down here you know I haven't really dealt with any mosquitoes yet this is where they're gonna be <laughs> so I don't know this is the tough part I know tonight I think I'm just gonna hike real late and try to get as many miles in as I can even though I didn't sleep well last night that's all right because I think it's going to be more miserable tomorrow. And tomorrow, I think I can go buy a, um, there's a Dollar General or a Family Dollar. Oh, oh turkey. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I can go buy Family Dollar or Dollar General and just buy a cheap umbrella. I do miss my Six Moon Designs it's umbrella. It was so good. I lost that thing on the PCT though. It was sad. Cause it's just gonna be a lot of open walking. Basically from Lake Okeechobee all the way to the end. 
Oh, it's going to be so hot. Yeah, anyways, that's my self-talk. Oh, Kamek. Oh, there's another turkey. I <laughs> can't friends. They're pretty quick. My hiker friend just texted me that he just saw a Florida panther. He's up by Kissimmee Prairie Preserve. That's where I left today. And whatever, that's so cool. It wasn't even dark out yet, so he probably had a good view of it. I think my situation was scary because it was dark and it was coming towards me. <laughs> I'd love to just like, you know, see one in the wild, not coming at me or later stalking me, you know? Anyway, isn't this cool? I love it out here. Tropical jungle. I just almost walked face first into that. He's a big fella. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to do it. Catch all the things. <laughs> hey, Armadillo. Why are you so loud? Yep. Got to climb up this style. I would just like to say, you see my poles? I threw them over. And they just landed like that because I'm basically a warrior. Yeah, I'm getting weird. Okay. Oh, hey, Chandler Slew. I feel good still. Do, do, do. I think I'm going to do just like 45 or something. I really wanted to do a 50, but... Uh, yeah, it's in the middle of like two long road walks. Well, not long, but long enough to be an issue. I'd have to do like another like 16 or 15 miles from here. Hey, buddy. <laughs>